Hi there. So I'm down my dad's plot and today I'm going to be stopping the last of the dahlias. Um, what that means is I'm going to be removing the growing tip. It seems a bit quite severe. Uh, some of the plants will be knocked back quite far back. Um, and what this does, it triggers the plant into producing side growth to produce bigger quality flowers or maximizes the, um, the chances of getting it inside of that dahlia society ring. Um, so I'll take you through it. Um, and show you how I, I pinch the tops out. Um, what I'm doing with these dahlias at the moment, feeding wise, is I'm giving them a, a high nitrogen feed, just a, a general lawn feed. Um, every time I feed, every time I water, they get a, a high nitrogen lawn feed. So I'll show you how I, um, I stop the dahlias and pinch the tips out. Hi there. So it's the 16th of June. Um, and over the last week or so, I've been pinching out the growing tips of the dahlias. Um, what this does is it encourages a plant to produce lateral growth, um, side, side growth. So each pair of leaves, um, you get two, uh, two branches which will come out. So on, the, on this variety here, I've got, um, this is Charlie 2, and it's a, a medium deck. And what I'm aiming for on this plant is seven or eight branches coming off it. So that'll produce seven or eight flowers. So to encourage this, I need to get it so that I've got four pairs of leaves on. So what I do is simply just nip the top of the plant out. And what that'll do is it'll encourage all of these little side growths to spring in action and then produce seven or eight um, pairs of pairs of branches some rate leaves sorry uh, so that I've done that now in about a week or so's time this one here was done a week ago and as you can see the, they've already grown about half an inch um, so in, a, in about two weeks time this one here will be ready to debranch again and I'll pick the the stems which I want to grow up off so I'm looking for strong stems but even spread of growth so that they all don't come at the same time um, as I say I've been I've been pinching out the growth tips for about a week now just so that I get an even spread of flowers throughout the end of August to late September so that's Charlie 2 there as I say it's a medium deck um, I'll go over to here and this is uh, Sue's Kilmory um, last year I grew Sue's Kilmory about 14 up and um, it produced some very good flowers on it. So um, I pinched out the grown tip about three or four weeks ago. Uh, I had some issues with it where it was it was producing buds on the ends of the the, the growth. So I had I had to nip it back quite hard. Um, so that's that one there. We'll go over to here, and we've got what I've got here is another Sue's Kilmory. Um, it's a it's a big plant as I say you want about 12 up on this 12 to 14 up on this plant so I've just nipped the grown tip out there and it's got it's got quite a number of leaf leaf breaks on it so um, I'll let that spring in action and then I'll, I'll select the the branches which I'm gonna grow up Um, here on the side of caution I'd go more than less because of for obvious reasons you kind of grow extra after you've took them off so it's better to, to have more and then select from what you want um, as a general rule um, you want to be grown uh, giants two or three up uh, larges th four up uh, mediums seven or eight up smalls 12 up in miniatures and palms you need as many as you can on and you don't want to be debranching or uh, removing some of the um, the side breaks on them so I'll go over to the palms and I'll show you what I've done with the palms and um, the palms have been stopped once now already some of them have actually had the second stop and um, whereas so I'll jump onto one which has only had one stop so this plant here I removed the center growing tip and it's producing six or seven um, sage, sage shoots there, uh, six or seven branches, sorry. 
So what, what I do now on this this variety, which is Irish Glow, nice red red pom, I just simply nip out the the grown tips on each of the each of the bricks. What this does it encourages the plant to produce a, a very bushy a bushy plant with as many flowers on it as you can, just to keep it under the um, the National Dahlia Society ring of, of 55 millimeters. So that that's just been done today. This was done about a week ago, and as you can see already, I've pinched the growing tips out on it, and they're already starting to break off there. Um, I'm I'm gonna try and get another stop on it, probably the end of this month, and about two a week or two's time. What well, that'll do that that'll mean that plants had three stops, um, and should produce plenty of flowers on it. So that's the uh, that's the deep branch in there, and this button this button will be in the next video, um, and I'll just show you show you some of the larger plants before we finish. Um, this is Clearview Edie. It was a uh, it, it was an early plant from from Hall's Head, um, a really big plant. It's a large semi cactus, so I need four breaks off that. As you can see, it's a it's a quite a large plant. Yeah, uh, just growing up and stop this year, I think. So, see if, see if I can get some decent flowers over and see what it comes like. Um, giants, these are the giants, a few raw giants. I've got Brent Truffell and Janelle Amy in there, and I think I've got some more. Um, Kenora Valentine. So, that's uh, that's that's my dad's plot there, all nicely caned. Do with a bit of weeding, uh, along the path sides, but. All doing well. There's a hundred plants in here. Um, I've got another 180 in mine and a, and a couple on another plot. So all good so far.